Looks like control schematics for automated turrets. No good now, but they might be useful later. Well, oh, did I already give him that? Maybe I already did. Alright, do you have something? No? Is that- I was like, is that Tally? <laughs> of course. We can have ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? No, evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines. Huh. I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. You're not talking about us, are you? What? This was where Seren's oh, okay. assassins fired at me. I'd just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. What's, okay, yeah. Saren had assassins after you? Right. I disabled the Geth and found that recording that proved he was working with the Reapers. Yes, Shepard. I went to Ilium and tried to inform the authorities. But Saren's mercenaries attacked me. I barely escaped. I stowed away on a Turian freighter and came out here. I thought I was safe. You never told me about this. How bad was it? Got me in the arm. They used polonium rounds. I was running a fever in minutes. It was the first time I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. I ran to the council embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Seren. The Turian clerk called me Suit Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. No, personally. I wish that clerk could see you now. Personally throw him off. He just did. That was him back <gasps> I don't think he remembers me. Oh my gosh, that's oh so poetic. I would have rubbed it in his face. I would I would if I was Shepard, I'd go over there right now and be like, ooh. Like just it's so unnecessary. The Koreans haven't done anything. The Koreans back in the day did not a nice thing. Or not a great thing. They didn't even mean to do it to be mean. He created the Geth, and everyone was like, oh, that's so cool. And then it went backfired, and they were like, oh, you guys are bad guys now. And it's like, they only made the rules about AI after that. You know what I mean? Like, anyway. And you're assisting him in spite of that. This war is too big for Because she's a good person. You showed me that. We are at peace with the Geth. I can't waste my time on a Turian who made me angry. Besides, it all worked out. I made it to the wards. You found me. Happy ending. Happy ending. And now the Turians will get the aid they desperately need. I nearly reminded him who I was. Made him apologize, rubbed his nose in it. Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. The difference is that you helped when it counted. Thanks, Shepard. So did you. I did. It's true. There's no point. She's right. Like, there's no point in bringing it up. I don't know. But I still would like to be a little petty about it as her friend. Like, as the person, I would see trying to be, you, know, you want to be the bigger person. But as a friend of that person, you're like, listen, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm not going to, like, beat him up, maybe, but I am going to, like, get into space. Advanced heating unit stabilizers. I guess it's cold enough here. There you go. You're welcome. Let's see. No psychos for me to talk to. We are getting stuff done. That was crazy. I do. Oh, there's they are. I do like seeing my people out and about. I really hope Veilguard has people out and about a bit. I know it's different. We're not like on a massive station as far as I know. I don't really. I don't even remember. It's like a lighthouse or something in Veilguard. Hello, Shepard. Oh, you just chilling? I'm glad. You enjoy yourself. I'm dropping off a gazillion, a bajillion things. I don't think Welcome you guys have anything goods. I want. Thank you for shopping at Nosostra Sporting Goods. I am kind of glad that the repeating conversations that we're running around, we aren't dealing with those anymore. See, I was like, these people, they sort of stand. Of course. P O R A -E. Like they're waiting for no, me. No, I realize you can't tell me where she was deployed. Can you inform me if she's under orders not to communicate with her family? It's uh, been a while since I heard from her. Uh huh. But I would be contacted if she were injured, correct? Yes, I'm listed as her bond mate. 
Yes, I can hold. Her name is Tasha Pore. Weshra, I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. Yeah, it's super fun to run around and give people mementos of their dead loved ones. Love that for me. I mean, but again, I kind of appreciate it in that it's just like brings home like the individual nature of grief. I've recovered the obelisk of Karza. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. You have? It's amazing. Thank you, Commander. Yeah, I'm very good. That's going to help immeasurably with some very sensitive Yeah, words. I'm so glad. <laughs> Sometimes the guards throw me off because they kind of stand there like, like they have something to tell me. The Citadel is so pretty. I really like it. I will always love the Citadel. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. Oh, where to? One moment, please. Oh, I don't know if there's anybody there that needs anything from me, but we'll do a run around. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Yep. Oh, pow. Excuse me. I recovered the rings of a loon. They're waiting in Bay D24. That's wonderful. Thank you. Bring it. My people will treat this miraculous find as a call to support their local hospitals. Uh, it's kind of amazing. Uh, people, <laughs> Joker and everyone on the ship's gonna be like, what the heck? Why are so many people coming up and taking stuff off our ships? There's just... Mm -hmm. Sad. There's so many more people in here now, you know. And you do have the you have the the occasional medical personnel running around. Oh hey. Something else? Uh, uh no, I think we good. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Got to take the moments when you can. So true. Yes. Yeah, so, and Shepard, So true, bestie. Thanks again getting my people out alive. So Take care, Jacob. <laughs> you too, Shepard. Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> so true. He says so true to himself, to the thing he said. So true, so true. Do I have anything for any of you? Ah? Huh? A treatment plan for chemical burns. Mm -hmm. This is pretty detailed. You're welcome. I think Caden, yeah, Caden's out, but I can still go in that room. Obviously, Caden's out. He's on my ship. A treatment plan for chemical burns. This is pretty detailed. It won't give it to him. I just checked my journal, like, I went back. I was just looking, and one of the things that popped up on was chemical burns. And I know I picked up, I'm pretty sure I picked up the heating unit stabilizers, and usually when it does that pop-up, it means... A treatment plan for chemical burns. This is pretty detailed. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, I might not be as good in this one as I'd like to be, getting all the... Extra. All the extra side missiony stuff Spectre dropped off. One moment, please. Especially because I already messed up with the DLC one, and I can't fix that. Now arriving at ward level purgatory. I recovered the code of the ancients from Dakuna. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. With shock and joy, really, this is wonderful. A pink Elcor. I think they made the L Court look much better, honestly, in this one. Oh, God, I remember the days when those were just like white prototype looking things that didn't even move down there. It's wild. Thank you. 
I don't know what that was. I remember uh, she, he was talking about smuggling Metagel out, and she was like, listen here, bucko, I'm normally, you know, a smuggler type person as well, but like, we got bigger concerns here than making a profit off of a war that we're gonna lose, probably. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, hello. Urgently. Human, I must speak to you on behalf of my people. What is it? Holding sorrow. Takuna. My home world. The Reapers have I come. heard the news. Holding sorrow. Our warriors are under siege. But your forces can rescue them. Urgently. Please. All the other races have turned us aside. How do your people fight? <laughs> Proudly, with BI-assisted infantry, our soldiers carry heavy weapons into battle mounted on their backs. Mixed pride and shame, our enemies have called us living tanks, as well as names less flattering. Oh. I'll take the Normandy as soon as we have time. Relief. Thank you, Commander. I mean, I can't... Small hope. Perhaps we can evacuate some of our civilians when your forces arrive. Anxiously, I will remain here for news. Please hurry. The Kuna burns. I mean, my planet is also on fire, and uh, what am I gonna do? I'm just a little guy. Like, I don't know, you know, like... I mean, my forces are a ship. Like, I have a singular ship and, like, a hit squad, you know? Let's check in on our friend. Nothing exciting in here. Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Probably a bad Everyone's walking around thing. in a daze. Or in my case, limping. Limping! <laughs> and I wonder if we'll ever be the same. <laughs> These are dark days for all of us. Oh, Bailey. Uh, I think we've chatted about all this, but uh, I just wanted to check in on him. I like Bailey. You got your work cut out for you. You and me both, Shepard. I'm probably not making this station sh safer. I'm probably making it worse. Uh, we could talk to the, I think, to the Asari counselor while we're here. Or maybe there's, hang on. It's not going to throw us into anything as far as I know. Cerberus has struck again. Commendation. What? Oh, I I was like right. I I saw Bailey and I was like, what? It was the Lee part. I was like, he's been he's not an independent operative. Yay! Approval from a specter would fast track the award process. Sure, I liked her a lot. She was like a mini me. Oh yeah, has past convictions for smuggling. Has offered to gather critical supplies. Yeah, you can do it. I think I trust. I trust. I'm pretty sure that was the one I trust. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be real sad if I'm wrong. There she is. The Black Widow. Reaper. Uh. Is this... Oh, is this what people were saying, maybe? Where it's like, you can buy stuff that you maybe missed on... Wait. Or maybe... Scavenger's willing to sell the Reaper processor for a thousand credits. That's it? And Geth Jamming Technology. The Eclipse Cobra Ops is willing to sell jamming technology deployed from the, or recovered from the Geth Station. Oh, we can't formally support Eclipse mercenary work. The technology should be just treated as though it was discovered during action on Rannoch. Oh, I was supposed to find this on Rannoch, and I didn't. Yay! Okay, that's cool. I think somebody mentioned that that's a thing, and I just am bad at remembering. You defend your storage compartments. Extra pockets, girl! Shields, health, weapon damage, ammo capacity. I mean, those are all, like, nice, in, in I guess, but, like, uh, mostly I just think it looks cool. <laughs> the piranha! Is an assault shotgun. It looks like a heavy, a heavy weapon. Oh my gosh, I kind of want it. <laughs> wow. <gasps> a gold weapon? Is this a 
shotgun? Wow. I actually, oh, I kind of want this. I don't know if I've ever used this one before. If I have, I don't remember, but I'm going to buy it. Silly me. Silly little purchases. Just, you know, just shopping things. Ooh. Oh, I think it's a thermal clip. So chakram launcher is like the old Mass Effect One uh, method of um, firing, where it's uh, you have like a heat sink. Is it or not? No, kind of right. There was like that bar. I think it was in two. No, it was in one, definitely, where, like, you, you could fire, there was no ammo limitation, but there was, like, an overheating mechanism where if you fired for too long, um, your weapon would overheat, and it wouldn't work, so you had to do it in bursts. Look at this cute little gun! That's so cute! I can't. I can't. Oh, I'm so excited. You gotta go play with some of my stuff. I'm so excited for the gold shotgun. It reminds me, listen, I have over a thousand hours in Overwatch and it reminds me of, uh, which I haven't played in a long, long time. I hear it's doing well, I think, and that makes me happy. I'm happy for Overwatch to be doing well. Um, I miss the playing with my friends a lot. It's one of my one of my most fondly looked upon memories was the thousands of hours I played with friends. But um, you had the gold weapons in Overwatch, right? And uh, that's what that reminds me of. And so I'm gonna get it in this game. Whoa, that was weird. I thought we were, like, starting a cutscene outside the door. I should have waited! Oh, no! I want all remaining files secured and marked for Tentron clearance only. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. Did you find something? The Council has ordered a full review into Donald Udina's activities. We're still piecing together his coup attempt. But that isn't why I asked you here. Yeah. The situation is growing urgent for my people. Mine too! We're aware your crucible is still missing a key component. The catalyst. Do you know something? Not exactly, but there is a artifact on our homeworld, Thessia, known only to highest levels of my government. What is it? With any luck, it's a means to help you locate the catalyst. The artifact is kept in a temple located at these coordinates. I've ordered a scientific team to meet you there. If this artifact is so important, why keep it hidden? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every species in the Citadel has its secrets, Commander. Mm -hmm. But this one, in the wrong hands, would upset the balance of galactic power. The Reapers are doing yeah. that right now. <laughs> right? Which is why I'm bringing this to you. Yeah. Uh, no, the, the Asari, who are the ones who have sort of masterminded a lot of the rules and regulations, um, are potentially not as honest as they may be, may appear, at least the higher levels of the government, right? I am a little, you know what, yeah. Why the sudden cooperation? The Reaper's progress has changed everything. The matriarchs are growing desperate. For the first time in our history, Thessia is vulnerable. For all our intellect, we're outmatched by Reaper firepower. I'll do what I can. Whether you know it or not, you've become the sole ray of hope in a very dark night. Goddess be with you. Thank you. I'll take anything I can get at this point. Also, I just think it's hilarious that everybody comes crawling to me eventually, even the Asari, asking for help freeing their planets. And I'm like, yo, crazy, I wish you would have helped me when I had to ask for my help. To be fair, we... Uh, you know... It's like we need we need to prepare, right? But like it would have been nice if everybody had cooperated from the get go. This is why Pacific Rim is the best movie in the entire universe, is because it shows a, a, a world that would never happen, where if we were attacked, if humanity specifically in this instance, right, was attacked by some overwhelming outside force, um, we would all the governments of the world would come together to create super giant fighting robots to save everybody, you know. And that's just not what would happen. We would tear ourselves apart. If we were attacked by aliens, I guarantee you, humanity would just be torn apart by its own self. You know, like, we would... Yeah, there, there's no way we'd all band together and, like, fight off against aliens. I know there's, like, the weird movement people have taken. There used to be, like, jokes on Tumblr about, like, this, like the steadfastness or whatever of humanity. And I feel like those were, like, jokes, right? Like, it was funny. It was a funny thing. It wasn't, like, it wasn't, like 
jokes about humanity necessarily, but it was like, oh, these funny little humans doing their funny little things and being, like, incorrigible, you know? But then people got, like, really weird about it, I've heard recently. <laughs> oh, only vaguely, like, tertiarily. That's not a word. Tertiarily? Tertiarily. Uh, I've heard about it, but it's like, no, it's not this weird, like, humanity, like, uh, what's the word? Humanity supremacy thing. It's like, we're just, like, little little rabbits with sharp teeth, you know? Like, we breed quickly, and we <laughs> are kind of stupid, and <laughs> we just go, <laughs> you know? It's hard to stop stupid. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> that's something else, but... I hope this episode isn't, like, weirdly cut cut into tiny pieces, but I'm going to go ahead and call this one here. Uh, ooh, let's see. Let me actually... I keep pressing J, because that's what you do in Baldur's Gate. Um, yeah, so Thessia is a priority one, obviously. It's, like, the next, the next big main mission that we'll be doing once I drop off a few more of these. Can't do that one. But yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good. We got our list pretty shortened up. Some of these I'm not really sure <laughs> how to go about doing them. But we had the Reaper Code, Citadel, Embassy. Let me run around. I'm actually not going to call it here. Haha. -ha. We are in the Citadel Embassy right now. So I'm going to find this person to give to. I think she's right here. I don't know. Maybe I've messed it up. Please I need to go to the holding area. Moment, See if I have anything for anybody in the holding area. And then I will go, I hope to really e drop off, Emergency not the Reaper code help. fragments, but a different one. I found a Prothean sphere on Gay Hinnom. Mm -hmm. Contact the Alliance and tell them Commander Shepard asked them to pay you for it. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. I'll call them right now. Sick. Well, at least I could drop off so something to somebody. And actually have it go through. Like, this is the guy who had the... He, no, wait, is, it, is this guy? I think it was that guy that needed the heaters. And I still have that in my journal. The heating unit stabilizers. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help. Okay, here we go. The colonist He's the one who needed it. be most pleased. Thank you. I am in your debt. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know why I had to, like, double-click on him for it. But the double-clicking didn't work on the other one. There we go. I pulled this from a Geth jamming tower. Maybe you can use it. No, it didn't. How the hell did you? Hey, never mind. Tech like this, I don't care where it came from. I'll have my people. Tee hee. When the war comes back here, maybe we can save more lives. I was supposed to get it from Ranog, <laughs> and I didn't. Tee hee. Ah yes, this is looking much better though. Two of these are two of these are ones I can't do anymore. Two of them are new ones. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got the Cacliosaur fossil, and I have no idea what the Cacliosaur fossil person is. I should be good. I shouldn't need to drop anything else off, but I will check the docking bay. All right, I think I've done mostly all the dropping off and the picking up and things I need to do. So I will go ahead and actually call it here. <laughs> uh, next mission will be Thessia, which I am not looking forward to. At least for me, back in the day, right? Probably it's not going to hit the same for me this time around. Um, but Thessia was one that really punched me in the gut last time. It's really rough. Uh, just, like, emotionally. Um, but I'll double check, run around, and see if anybody has anything to say. Go to Thessia. So thank you all again for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Risco Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.